61A, lecture number 19, announcements. Lab 7 due Tuesday, homework 4 due Thursday, and we're releasing a new project. That project won't be due this week, it's due next Friday, but you need to get started by next Tuesday in order to earn the checkpoint. And if you submit the whole thing by next Thursday, then you can get an early submission bonus point. This project is big. Now, this semester is extra stressful because of the remote nature of all your classes, and I know it's harder to get help. Last project, we had wait times that sometimes approached four hours just to get help in office hours, and that's not okay. So we're doing two things to address that. One is that we'll increase the amount of staff that are available next week in order to make sure that you have plenty of support for finishing your project. So that should decrease office hour wait times by a lot. But we're also shortening this project relative to what it's been in past semesters. This project kind of grew and grew every semester as people thought of more questions to ask, but it got pretty long. So we're keeping all the core parts, but just trimming out some of the stuff that's not so important. And in particular, there were two questions that gave students a lot of trouble in the past, and we're only keeping one of them and really, part of the trouble was the interaction between the two, which no longer will be something that you have to deal with. So, just because this is shorter, you should not think that this is a short project. This is a long project, longer than anything you've done so far. Now, you might work faster because you've been learning, but this is a really big project. We've tried to trim it down so that it's still manageable, but please make sure that you spend some time on it in order to work your way through before the deadline or even better, before the early submission deadline. And what is this project about? It's about ants. Well, it's inspired by a game that I like called Plants vs. Zombies. So we'll build the 61A version of that called Ants vs. Some Bees. I'll let you try playing the game on your own once you've implemented it. Midterm 2 is coming up, so Ants is due on a Friday. Midterm 2 is the next Wednesday. It's going to have a similar format and style to midterm one. I want to make sure that you have a chance not just to hear about the material on the exam, but work on homework problems about it, go to lab and discussion to learn more about it, and have time to practice. So this will only cover content through this week. Then you'll have another week to focus on ants, maybe review some of the stuff from the midterm, and then midterm two is the following week. So two weeks from Wednesday. In order to make sure that you have time to absorb the material. We've decided that the topic called efficiency, which would be covered on next Monday, will not be covered on this exam or the final exam, so you can treat it as optional. The lectures next week on decomposition and data examples, I think you should watch because they're quite useful review for midterm two. And then right before the exam on Monday the 26th, there will be a topic that will not be covered on any exams, so you could treat that as optional too. But don't skip it, because this lecture is sometimes students' favorite part of the course. This you might as well learn about, but you'll learn a lot about it in 61B, so it's okay if we don't test you on it in 61A. Okay, here are all the important links. Today's topic, inheritance, is something that can be overused, so you should certainly know about it. It's a core part of the object system, not only in Python, but in lots of different programming languages. But it has a particular use case, and you shouldn't just use it all the time. So the lecture discusses some trade-offs where you might want to use inheritance, and you might want to use something else like composition. Here we go.